Good morning. Good morning to everyone, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, this day, let us be uh, meditate the word of God. Before meditating the word of God, let us be pray and we invite our God, Lord, his presence. Let us be invite the Holy Spirit in this morning, midst of us. May God talk with us in this morning. Let us be praying. Gracious, loving, heavenly Father, we are coming to in your presence, O Lord. Lord, be with us and guide us and lead us and talk with us, O Lord. When we are meditating the word of God, O Lord, come minister first, O Lord. Teach your words and teach your paths to us, O Lord. In how we want to walk in this world. Lord, teach us, O oh Lord. Guide us, O oh Lord. We want to walk with you, O oh Lord. Lord, guide us and lead us. And uh, those who are watching this live broadcast, O oh Lord, bless them and guide them. And uh, Lord, whatever they're doing, the jobs and business and ministry, bless them, O oh Lord. Bless their families and bless them in the name of Jesus. Lord, in this morning, Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us. Those who are watching and those who are sick and those who are suffering financially, whatever they are suffering, oh Lord, in this morning, when we are meditating your words, heal right now in the name of Jesus. When we are meditating your words, Lord, talk with them and open the doors for them, oh Lord. Lord, you are the mighty God, everything possible in your name, O Lord. Lord, we are submitting ourselves into your presence, in your hands, asking in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to, I want to, let us be, uh, meditate the word of God. I want to tell something from God's words. He is the one who claims to be standing in it. He, my topic is, he is the one who claims to be standing in it. See, when we will see the John, <clears throat> first John chapter two, verse six is saying, whoever claimed to live in him must live as Jesus did. See, the word of God is saying, Who, whoever claimed to live in him must live as Jesus did. How we want to live, how we, we follow him, how Jesus has showed us we, we must follow him. How Jesus has loved us, we must love the world. We must love the neighbors. We must love our parents. We must love our family. We must love our children. We must love all over the world. Let us see why God has called us. Why God has called us. God has called us to follow him. When we will read the first Peter, the first Peter is saying, first Peter verse two, chapter two, verse 21 is saying, <clears throat> 21 is saying, to this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. Why God has called us means he called us and he showed the example us and he walked before us and we want to follow him. That's why Jesus has called us to follow me. Follow me how I am living in the, in the world, what I am doing in front of you, 
you follow my foot, footsteps that's why jesus has called us jesus has called and jesus he showed many things in front of us my dear brothers and sisters today we, we are we are thinking we are the christians we are saying i am the child of god we are thinking and we are saying i am the i am the follow, follower of jesus christ but really we are following the jesus christ we are really we are following his footsteps we must think about that we must follow him jesus has said jesus has said follow me follow me he he given example the peter is saying the peter is saying to this you very called because christ suffered for you leaving you as example that you should follow in his steps we must to follow his foot footsteps how he talked how he lived in the world he he lived 33 on uh, th- 33 and a half years in the world he done many miracles he he never said lie he he lived perfectly and he showed us everything how to reach the heaven how to reach the father he teached my dear brothers and sisters that only god has call, called us why god has called us means he called us to follow his footsteps uh second thing should um should do as i have done for you the jesus is saying john chapter 13 verse 15 is saying john chapter john chapter 13 verse 15 is saying what i have, I have given you an example that you also should do just as i have done to you see jesus is saying i have set you as example that you should do as i have done for you what he have done for us he done he given his life for us he crucified for us he shed his blood for us he suffered for us my dear brothers and sisters jesus has done many things for us if he he is not done like that means we 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 uh, uh, we, we 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 go into the hell but god has done for us he paid everything for us and he is saying follow me i giving i i, I am I am i am giving the example I, i in front of you i have set you an example that you should do as i have done for you what he he done for us we we must follow his words we follow his footsteps that's why jesus has called us jesus has called us we must follow his footsteps and is saying the matthew chapter 11 verse 29 is saying take my yoke upon you and learn from me we must take yak and follow and learn in 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 his presence my dear brothers and sisters we must follow him we must learn what is the our lord how he loved us what we want to do for him what why he called us we must learn this all the things in front of god hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters we we are 
in these days we are so busy to spend with the god we are busy in the world but we are not giving the time for god we are not talking with the god we are not asking god lord teach me your paths lord i want to learn something from you lord how to i get the victory in the world lord teach me how you walked on this world lord teach me this all the things how you risen from the death on the third day lord i want to come in 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 heaven in our father's house lord how you got the victory lord teach me on that way we we must ask our lord god every morning and every every day every minute every hours we must ask our god our god is our teacher he will teach us that's why he said take my your upon you and learn from me i am your teacher i am your teacher i will teach you how to get the victory in this world how to get the victory uh, upon satan and is is uh, uh is better he, he will give the victory for us my dear brothers and sisters we must we must learn in his presence we must learn in 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 his presence and we must ask the holy spirit lord teach me your paths that's why jesus has called us to teach us but these days we are so busy so busy uh, we are giving the time for the world but we are not giving the time for god but god is waiting for us god is he want to teach us the victory ways he want to give the successful life for you that's why god has called you to come to my presence hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters we must come in his presence every day with humble with humble we must come in front of god let us be read that word matthew chapter 11 verse 29 he is saying take my yoke take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am for i am i am gentle uh lonely in heart you will find rest for your souls how our god say that the word is saying the word is saying take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle god is a gentle and humble in heart we must humble in heart we must gentle uh in, in in this world we 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 must gentle and humble in our heart because we are the god's children our jesus is the humble and he is the gentle and 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 you will find rest for your soul when when we will get the rest for our souls means when we will humble and when we will gentle and when we will learn in front of god when we will learn and when we will ask our god lord show me your paths i i need the successful life then god will teach us god will guide us god will teach many things for us how to get the victory in the world my dear brothers and sisters the god in this morning god is talking with us in this morning god is talking directly with us with you and me still is waiting for us we must learn in in his process see a uh, second thing let us we see whoever says i know him but does not do what he commanded 
is a liar. The world is saying, whoever says, I am know him. Today we are saying so many things. I am a Christian. I am going every Sunday. I am going every Friday. I am going every program. I am participating in, in, in that program. Yes, it is true. You are, you are participating. But the God is saying, whoever says I am know him, but does not do what he commanded is a liar. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be read that word. John chapter, John, uh, first John chapter two, verse four is saying clearly. Let us, let us read that word. Two, first John chapter two, verse four. Whoever says, I know him, but does not do what he commanded is a liar and the truth is not in that person. What the God is teaching us, if we are not humble in the in, in heart, we are not in the gentle and we, we are not in the humble in heart, then we are the liars. How Jesus has walked, Jesus, he, he walked the he, he never said any lie. He, he never killed anyone. He never hurt anyone. So many people hurt the Jesus and they, they, they want to kill the Jesus. They, they scored with Jesus and they, uh, they beat in the Jesus. But Jesus, he, he never done like that. But he, he, he walked humble. He walked gentle. My dear brothers and sisters, we, we, if we are the children of God, we, we must walk how our God is, our Jesus has walked. See, let us be read. If we claim to have fellowship with him and he walked in the darkness. See, the, the first John chapter one verse uh, six is saying, the one verse six is saying, if we, if we claim to have fellowship with him and let and walk in the darkness, we lie and do not leave out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he, he is in the light, we have the fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all the sins. See, the word is saying, if we, if we are the following the Jesus Christ, we are the followers of the Jesus Christ, we must walk on the light. If we are the follow, follower of Jesus Christ, we never say the lie. We don't do the sin against God. If we are the real followers, we, we must humble in our heart. Dear brothers and sisters, today we are saying, I am, the, I am the Christian. I am the Christian. But the word of God is saying, the word of God is saying clearly, uh, let, us, let us see that words also. Uh, I, want to, I want to show that words. <coughs> uh, who, the, the, the John, um, uh, first John chapter three, verse nine is saying, Three verse nine is saying, no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They can't go on sin, sinning because they have been born of God. They won't go for sin. 
they, they won't do any sins because the, the seed, the seed remains in them. They are, can't do on sinning because they have been born of God. If we born of God, we never do the sin against God. But we walk with God and we walk in his footsteps. We walk how the Jesus has walked in the world. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, how we are walking today, how we are walking the seed of Jesus is working on us. Just think. Really, his seed is working on us. If we are the children of God, we don't want to do the sin against God. We don't want to say the lie. We don't want to do the adultery. We don't want to hurt anyone. We don't want to beat anyone. We don't want to uh, do against, uh, do sin against God. But how the Jesus has walked, we must walk on that way. We, we must walk on, uh, on his paths. That's why Jesus has came in this world. He want to show us his paths. That's why he came and still is uh, still is calling us to learn from me. Is is calling. Take my yoke upon you and 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 learn from me. He will. He is the teacher. The Holy Spirit is teaching us everything. Uh, us today, my dear brothers and sisters, we must walk in His paths. If really we are his children, really his fears are working on us, then don't do the sin against God. Don't say any lie. Don't, don't follow the, the world, but follow the Jesus Christ. He, he got the victory on this world. He got the victory on Satan. He got the victory on all over the world. And he, he got the victory on the death. Upon the death, my dear brothers and sisters, he will give the, uh, the, the victory and successful things to us. Our father has walked the infant of us. If we are his children, we, if we need the successful ways, we must learn in front of God. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, see, the, the word is teaching us. The word is teaching us. Let us, let us be see. Uh, 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 let us be see the John chapter, um, first John chapter two, verse four is saying, the four is saying, whoever says, I am, I am low, know him, but does not do what he commands is a liar, and the truth is not in the person. My dear brothers and sisters, the, if we are saying, I am the children of God, if we are not walking, we are not his children. We, the, the seed must be work on us. That only the John is saying. The, the um, first John chapter three verse nine we, we read. We read that word. Uh, seed remains in them. Seeds remain in them. What the seed means? The God's seed remain on them. They can't do on sinning because they have been uh, uh, born of God. The born of God, they never do the sin. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, 
let us we see uh, the the John uh, the first John chapter three verse six also. Let us read that verse also. No one who lives in Him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to to sin as either seen Him or know Him. He, if they know Him, they don't know Him. Those are saying. Those are doing the sin against God. They don't know the God, Lord Jesus Christ. But they are simply they are saying, "We know the God. We are the children of God. How we are walking in uh, these days? Really, we know the God. Really, we know the know His paths. Really, loving we are loving Him. Really, we are." Walking in his footsteps, just we think. Just we think. See, no one who the, the word of God is saying, no one who lives in Him keeps on sinning. They never do the sin. Who will in Him? They they won't do any wrong things in front of God. They they won't do any wrong things in front of the uh, people, but they walk with God. They walk with the uh, in His footsteps. But those who are those who are uh, don't don't know the God. They will do the sin. Either seen Him or know Him. They don't know Him. They don't know. But that's why they are doing the sin against God, my dear brothers and sisters. We, how we are walking in this world? Really, we are the children of God. Really, we are loving our God. Just we think. Let us be read John chapter John chapter uh, fifteen verse four is saying, "Who who are on me?" Let us let us be read that word. Who are on me? I am on them. We, we, they, they, they bear the fruits. Abide in me. Abide in me. I, I, I in you. I, as the branch cannot bear fruits by itself unless. Uh, and it abides in the vine. Neither can you, uh, unless abide in me. See, if I am in you, you are in me. You will be give you. You will give the more fruits, and you will bear the more fruits. Or else, if the alone you can't bear the fruits. The God is saying the God is showing us the successful way. The God is showing and God is teaching us. If I am in you and you are in me, you will bear the more fruits. Or else, you alone you can't bear the fruits. There is no successful way in your life. You you won't reach into heaven because. I I learn uh, uh, I am uh, I I am the successful God. I risen from the dead. I got the victory uh, 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 upon the death. That only I am teaching you. If you are on me, if I am in you, you will bear the more fruits, my dear brothers and sisters. If if we are in Him, we will give the good fruits for. Everyone, not only the the Galatian, Galatians chapter five verse twenty two. When we will read the fruits, the fruits is uh, we, we will see the see the fruits. Which fruits we will bear? Which fruit we will we we bear if we if we are in the Lord? If Jesus in us, we what type of fruits we will? Let us read that verse also. 
Let us believe that verse also. Uh, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, uh, against such things, there is no law. See, my dear brothers and sisters, the word is saying the what, what type of fruits the God is talking. The God is talking, the God is talking, the spirit in love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things there is no law. These all the things we we beard in our life. That Jesus has beard is the good uh, a good uh, wine. He's a good wine. The, the John chapter 15, verse 1 to when we will read, he's the good wine. The, the, the word is saying, he, he beard the good fruits in front of us. The vine and the branch. We are the branch. He's the vine. The, the vine is giving the good fruits. The fruits name is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These all the fruits we will bear. Really, we are bearing these fruits. If we are in him, we must bear these fruits. If he is in us, we must bear in these fruits. Hallelujah, my dear brothers and sisters. If we are not bearing these fruits, means we are not in him. He is not in us. We are not the we are not the children of God, but we are fulfilling the worldly things. How we are walking today. How we are following the Jesus today. How we are saying, I am the children of God. Really, we are the children of God. Really, we are following him. Just think. If we, if we are following him, we must fruit, give the, we are the, these good fruits in our life. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, the Ephesians chapter the Ephesians, let us see some words. Ephesians, the Apostle Paul is teaching with Ephesians. <clears throat> uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. I walk in love. Uh, Christ loved us. I gave himself. After us, and fragments, offering, I sacrifice to God. See, the God showed us, I walk in the way of love. We must walk way of the love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a as a pregnant offerings and sacrifice to God. See, he sacrificed, he loved for our sins. He sacrificed everything for us. He given his life for us. He many things done for us. My dear brothers and sisters, we must walk how the Jesus has walked. We must follow how the Jesus has walked. We must follow the Jesus Christ. Is the love of God. He's, he's a loving God. Is a loving God. He's loving, still is loving you and me. Still is forgiving our sins. So many wrong things we are doing in front of him. But still is loving us. My dear brothers and sisters, in this morning, the God is talking with us. The Holy Spirit is midst of us, is, is, is talking with us. 
today we are not following the jesus christ but we are following the, our culture my culture is like this my culture is like this the indian culture is different the uss usa culture is different the african culture is different the the chinese culture is different yes this areas culture is different but jesus culture is the different for all these cultures we we are not the worldly cultures followers but we are the culture we are the follower of jesus christ culture this culture is the love is the culture is the joy is the culture is the gentleness is the culture of love and sacrifice my dear brothers and sisters which culture we are following today today we are thinking this is my culture i i i live like this only no jesus never said follow your culture but he said follow me follow my word long in front of me he said really we are following him really we are walking uh with him my dear brothers and sisters we must follow the word of god we must follow the jesus christ hallelujah he given he given his life for us he sought he, he sacrificed for us he given all his life for us let us we see john chapter uh, first john chapter 1 sorry uh, uh, first uh, first john chapter 2 verse 28 let us read that verse also and now and now this is the uh, little children abide in me so that when you appear maybe uh, our confidence i not shamed from him and shame is coming see the word is saying the john is saying and i now dear children continue in him so that when he appears we may be con- confident and unshamed before him at this coming in his coming the, the when the jesus will come in the in, in the second coming be unshamed when when he live on us when we we live on him when we will walk on his footsteps when we will learn in front of god when we will learn in his presence then we never shame we we uh unshamed before him we unshamed before him but really if jesus come today what is our situation what about our situation today really we are walking in front of god uh, 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 without sin in front of god just think see the john the john chapter <clears throat> the john chapter uh, uh, first john chapter 1 verse 11 is saying if we claim we have not sinned we make him out to be a liar and he is worse in is not in us that anyone who does not uh, does not what is going <clears throat> what is good in from uh, sorry um, good is from god the the uh, third john chapter um, third john verse 11 dear friends do not emulate what is evil but what is good anyone who does what is good is from god anyone who does what is evil as not 
same car. When we will do the sin against God, we never see the God. If we say, I saw the God means we are the liars. In front, when the second coming, the Jesus, when the come the come in second coming, we will shame in front of him because we are the liars. We not we we not saw him. When we will walk in his words, when we will do good things in front of God, when we will walk on with his word of God, then we will fulfill his will and be unshamed in his coming, in front of him, before him. My dear brothers and sisters, we must walk with God. We don't say the lie, I am the Christian. When you are saying, I am the Christian, you must walk with God's word. If you are saying that I am the Christian, you must walk in his uh, in, in footsteps, his footsteps. Don't say simply, I am the Christian. See, the, the, the first John chapter 3, verse 9, we, we saw God's seed remains in them. If we are the real Christians, if, if we are the real his children, we the, his, his words will work on us. The love, joy, kindness, gentleness, these all the things, these all the fruits we we bear in front of the people, in front of the God. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, the, the John chapter 4, verse 8 is saying, the God is love. The God is love. See, the God is the love. Anyone, anyone who does not love does not know God. Because God is love. God is love. If we are not loving our brothers and sisters or anyone in the world, we are not loving our God. We don't know the Jesus Christ. We don't know our God. Our God is love. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, our God is love. We show the love in front of God and in front of the uh, people. The Jesus is coming soon. We walk in his with his footsteps, on his footsteps, then we never ashamed before him. My dear brothers and sisters, how we are walking, how we are walking today, really walking with the God and he, he is in us, really we, we are in him, then give the good fruits and obey him. Obey his words. How the word is teaching, how the word of God is saying, we must follow that word and walk in his footsteps. The judgment day is near to us. That Jesus is coming soon and soon. Don't waste the time. This is the time to repent ourselves. If we are saying uh, uh, these days, we, we said the lie, then repent ourselves, Lord, forgive me. This, all the days I said lie, but now I am submitting myself into you, O oh Lord. I want to walk with your footsteps. I, I want to walk with your commandments. I want to walk with your words, O oh Lord. Uh, Lord, Live on me, O oh Lord. I want to uh, um, live on me. And uh, I want to live on you, O oh Lord. I want to bear good fruits through you, O oh Lord. If we ask God, God, that God will help us before his coming, 
the second coming, repent ourselves. Ask God, Lord, forgive me. I said this all the days, I said the lie. But now, today, in this morning, I want to start with you, O oh Lord, with your footsteps. Help me, O oh Lord. Guide me, O oh Lord. Then God will guide us. God will lead us. The Holy Spirit will teach us. Let us be ask our God and pray. Let us obey his words. Let us invite him. Lord, come on me. Lord, I want to come on you, O Lord. In you, O Lord. Let us be invite the Holy Spirit. Let us be invite our teacher. Let us invite our father into our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In this morning, in this evening, you talked with us. Lord, thank you for your words, O Lord. Lord, we want to walk with your words, O Lord. Guide us and lead us, O Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you for your teaching, O Lord. Thank you for your good words, O Lord. Thank you for your teaching the successful way, O Lord. Lord, today we are submitting ourselves into your hands, O Lord. Those that are watching in, the, in this live broadcast, O Lord, bless them, O Lord. Open the spiritual eyes to understand your words, O Lord. Bless their jobs, bless their families, O Lord. Lord, he, 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 in this morning, in this evening, we are taking decision to walk with you, O Lord. Walk with your footsteps, O Lord. Guide us and lead us. Bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Asking in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.